Hello there for one, this is Iron Mark III, and welcome back to Big Stompy Shooty Robot Simulator, also known as Macquarie Online. For today's video, I thought I'd bring out one of the little trash cans again. You know the ones I mean? This is, of course, the Urban Mechs. Though in this case, I've brought a special Urban Mech out. This is the hero version. And it's got, as you can see, Barrage on one side, and eat this trashborn on the other side, pointing at an empty gun port. So, um, I'm not sure what the designer of this paint job was going for there, because it's an empty weapon port. <laughs> but hey, whatever, we can work with that. But regardless, the variant of this one is the UMR63S. And overall, I think this is actually a kind of nasty little 30-ton mech that I've put together for your amusement. Let's just quickly show you what it can do. Let's actually get the mech lab expanded. There we go. Right. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's pretty simple overall. It's got um, end of steel, double heat sinks, and ferrofibrous. So this little herby has been teched out to the gills, I think is probably the best way to describe it. It's practically as advanced as an urban mech can get, in, for all intents and purposes. It's got a standard 125 engine, which is a bit on the light side, though it gives it a speed of 67.5. That's okay. This thing is supposed to stick more with the main firing line than it is to go running off and having fun with all the other little light mechs that will be chasing themselves around the map. It doesn't even have a little tail to wag as it goes to do so. So, you know, there's no point. If you haven't got a tail, stay away from chasing things. With the double heat sinks, it's got uh, five of those. So combined with the 125, that gives it the required 10. So it's kind of short on cooling power. Though, all told, it has a heat management rating of 1.42, which brings it to the weapons payload. The weapons on this particular little urban mech is actually a pair of large pulse lasers. So a pair of large bullseyes. That is a great deal of pinpoint damage and because of where they are mounted in the chassis on the left torso, they are very close together. So that's just going to gouge into any section of any mech this thing shoots at. And that's what this thing does. It's basically meant to amplify the damage and support heavier, more durable mechs in bringing down the opposing army's equivalent of their heavy and durable mechs. So ideally, this is a heavy mech and assault mech class hunter. With its twin pulse lasers like that. And it can stay a fair distance as well because of that too. And that's all it does. As an afterthought, it also carries a single class 5 jump jet to give it a little bit of jumping power. Though that won't be enough to do very much. It's just there in case it's needed more than anything else. Though I did sacrifice like a couple of kilometers an hour from the speed to mount that jump jet. It's neither here nor there. A potential upgrade someone with more resources than me could do is to actually rig this thing with an XL engine rather than a standard, which would boost its speed even further. I mean, let's have a look at that. Uh, the XL's up to a 4 tonner, so an XL 170 could be installed, which would give it a speed of 91.8. So, yeah. That might be of use to you, but... This is what I've got, so this is what I'm working with. For modules, hmm. Let's see, what would I suggest for modules? I might suggest the large laser modules. <laughs> Just a thought there. Though in this case, I'd go for large laser cooldown, followed by the large pulse laser range. So that's the weapon modules out of the way, nice and easy. For the mech modules, eh. Honestly, I would suggest getting target info gathering, so you don't have to look at your opponent as long to get detailed information on them. And then combine that with... Hmm. Combine that with, I would say, seismic sensor, actually, as my second pick for this particular mech. I mean, sure, you could go for radar deprivation, but you're a light mech, so you won't be a priority target for enemy LRMs, unless you're being incredibly obvious and you're supposed to be playing with all of your heavy allies as well so you can duck behind them if you're under LRM fire 
I know it's kind of cheeky to suggest that, but it's true. They are there to take the hits, while you are piling on the damage to help them out. So, you can't trade your armor with them, you can't share it, you don't have any armor, really. So you might as well get something out of the deal, you know? <laughs> oh, that is not how you play teams in this game. It really is not. But anyway, that is the full loadout. I basically banked everything on this mech to mount a pair of large pulse lasers on a 30-ton chassis. So that's a lot of power for such a small mech. If it will work out or not, that remains to be seen. So, with all that said, let's take this little trash can and throw it into the firefights and see if it can actually do anything at all. I have a good feeling about this one, actually. Especially since it has a hazard logo on the chest in the middle. Makes a nice bullseye, I think. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Fleet command coming in. Capture the target area and engage any hostiles. Where's my all systems nominal? Darn it. Every time. You hear the A and then it just clips off. <laughs> you know what? If I ever start doing thumbnails for this series again, maybe that should be my caption for this particular series. MechWarrior Online! Where is my all systems nominal darn it? <laughs> because I seem to say that practically every video. Not that I mind, but, you know, that is a thing. Anyway, welcome to Frozen City. And the game mode is... Domination, I think. Uh, or is it Conquest? I, I'm getting mixed up between those two again. Not a bad map to be on, really. I mean, it's got lots and lots of things for me to cower behind while trying to not get noticed. And it's also got all of the open things. Though I must mention that um, I was called out on quite rightly for a mistake I made when playing on this particular match in this particular map uh, last weekend. When I charged in to try and keep the point from being contested in my grasshopper. And that was a complete and utter mistake on my part. I just forgot I didn't have to do that. All I had to do was just shoot at them. So yeah, my bad. And I completely own up to that. It's just the fact I'm not normally in the role of trying to prevent things from being captured. So, you know, I tend to forget. To be quite honest. I forget because I never do the things. There's nothing for me to shoot at really yet. Hello. Can I hit you? I can. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Leave me alone. I am a harmless little urban mech. I am an urby. You can't touch me. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Might as well just stick around in here, to be quite honest. Oh, hello there. Cicada. Backed off. Oops. So there's someone over there. And I want to get into a bit more cover though, so I better move. <laughs> Our team is definitely trying to hold this together. Ooh, hello. Ow, someone's decided I'm a priority target. Probably because I'm standing out, out in the, the open quite a bit. Who's doing that, seriously? I don't like it out here, to be quite honest, because there's no real cover. Also, my right side is the sacrificial side. Oh, hello. Target. It's you again. Oh, I didn't like that. I just exposed his torso. Anyway, I'd better start babbling a little bit, I guess. Why did I choose to fit out this Irby as a large pulse laser mech? Because I wanted to do something quote-unquote cheap to... Oh, hello. Yep, you're there. <laughs> something quote-unquote cheap and to just and still bring a new loadout to the field and the result was this just a little bit of damage there nothing serious I think we are starting to drive them back a little bit so I said quote-unquote cheap because I did this and then I went and installed every last bit of technology I could and racked up a bill between that and the new engine and a few other bits and pieces, I've spent like three million odd sea bills on this mech. And so, <laughs> that tells you about how my fitting things out for this 
series goes, I do tend to spend millions and millions just putting the builds together. Far more than I really plan to. And I don't mind, because I tend to get a fairly decent mech out of it. Or I get a silly mech, which um, I'm happy to test out, you know? Uh, maybe I should switch to alternate fire here. Yeah, that felt a little bit better. But I'm just trying to help out a bit. Missed. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely contributing a bit. I think there's someone coming up behind us. Uh, no, I can't see them, but I did get notice a radar ping on my sensors, so... Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on. wing that guy a little bit. So yeah, I was trying to make a cheap mech, and then I spent everything possible on the, the upgrades to just deck this urban mech out as much as I could. And this is the result. The only thing I've not done is mount a... mount an XL engine, as I mentioned back in the fittings. But I just don't have the XLs available. And you are almost dead, good sir. How are you? Oh, that... that oh, that's an invisible wall, apparently. Oh, are you hitting my sacrifice side? Poor Mr. Orion. Target destroyed. Oh. <laughs> I feel happy. I got it a heavy mech. That was nice. However, my team seems to be losing just a bit, just a tad. And that is a Kodiak. I don't want to be tangling with that. Ow. Yeah. What, what's going on in the team situation? Oh, bugger. Yeah, I think we might have lost this one. It's just... Just me and another guy left. And I am tied to the lightest mech on our team, so... Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Critical damage. Go away! Ow! Oh, pff, there go my weapons! <laughs> that was bullying, that! <laughs> Look at the size of that vulture compared to my little Irby. But still, 269 damage, 3, three assists and 1 flat-out kill. Which wasn't Orion, so I wasn't joking when I said that that thing is... Well, this thing is geared more as a hunter of heavier mechs than itself. So, <laughs> I took out an Orion in head-on combat. I am happy with that. This Arctic Cheetah, it's th I think it's tied with me for the lightest mech in the game. I can't remember is the um, if the Ulla or Kit Fox, depending on which side of the name you're coming from, is 30 or 35 ton? Is there a 35 ton? If it is, then I think this Arctic Chief is the only 30 tonner in the game on our side. I don't know. But, yeah, victory is kind of impossible for us at this point. They've got a lot of heavier hardware around. Come on, little cheater. Can you prove me wrong? I don't think you can. Yeah, there's a Loki coming after you, I think that is. And there's the Kodiak that I weaned earlier. At 25%. Oh, yep, getting torn to shreds. Walked into a bridge. There's the vulture that got killed me. Oh, it's a splat vulture. No wonder I died so darn fast. Yeah, this game is a loss. Good try, though. Good try. Anyway, that was match one. I am quite happy with that, actually. So, let's see if I can manage a similar performance in match two. We certainly did. Good try, everyone. I mean, I did well enough to actually even out my pilot rating change, so <laughs> that's good. Anyway, match two. Here we go. Reactor online. Sensors online. He cuts it off again. Where's my all systems nominal, darn it? <laughs> that is totally becoming my mech warrior catchphrase. But yes, welcome to uh, Crimson Straits. And the map, as you can see, well, the map, the mode is Incursion. Hello, Roughneck. <laughs> so, yep, here we go. Since this is second match, and I'm very happy with this mech in general, I'm going to go into my usual thing for the final match, which is thoughts on the build. Honestly, I was being a little bit optimistic when I was referring to this thing earlier as a 
heavy slash assault mech hunter. That's not strictly speaking accurate. A hunter would have a bigger, faster engine and would be using lighter, more close range weaponry. Um, so more of a um, flanker slash backstabber kind of deal. Small pulse lasers, machine guns to tear up exposed armor, that kind of thing. That would be more of a hunter, wouldn't it? This is more like a fire... Well, that would be spoiling what I'm about to say. This is a, a um, damage platform slash mobile turret kind of thing, which is geared towards dealing with more heavily armored foes. Well, I say geared to that. In truth, this calls back to what I said in my grasshopper testing videos last Saturday when I was testing out um, some loadouts that were asked of me. When I mentioned that um, I gravitated into a fire support kind of role, this mech is definitely geared from the ground up as a fire support style mech. It's not meant to be on the front lines, it's not meant to be trading blows with the enemy much, though it can do it a little bit. It's supposed to help the allies out as much as possible, relying on their endurance to see it through while helping to deliver as much damage as possible straight into their faces or any other exposed body part. Yeah, I think that about sums it up. And in that regard, this thing is actually really good. I mean, you saw what it did to the Orion in that last match. It can deal with heavily armored foes. It can't deal with their firepower, but it can melt away their armor very, very badly. So I'm just waiting for someone to engage. I think my buddy here right now is going to be this uh, Ebon Jaguar. Might even be the same. No, different loadout. But it was an Ebon Jaguar I was mostly paired with in the previous match as well. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'm sticking with my allies and I am focusing fire on them. So very much a fire support kind of situation. Target spotted. Okay, let's see if I can get back there a little bit and help out. Most of our heavy equipment is seems to be remaining pointed at the saddle, so that's not so good. The question is, why did they call tunnel? What's going on? Why did someone call out tunnel? I'm not seeing much of... Yeah, all the enemies are over there. Who the hell called out tunnel? Oh, there's someone around here. Let's spin my torso. They're above, but yeah. I don't know what's going Target on. Spotted. <laughs> I got pulled out of position because like someone called Tunnel. Target it's just an enemy scout over there, a, a locust. Not much to say about that. Heck, I don't even know what's going on, to be honest. I think we are just... Oh, he got hit by a gorse rifle shot. Lightback, Golf 2, moving in. Yeah. Lanced by an ER large, that's fine. Just stepping in and out a little bit. Hello there. Glanced his arm. Back the hell up. I am fine. Yeah, my nose is tickling a bit. I think I'm going to sneeze, but mm, I'm holding it back. Uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the moment I thought started thinking about it, it's like, nope, there go the floodgates. You are going to sneeze. Sucks to be you. So, hooray for that. Hello there. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Ow. I am okay. But we are not really doing much. And so, this is actually really bad for my direct fire support loadout. Honestly, I'd be more useful if I was in an LRM mech than I am here. Can I get a good shot off from up here? Don't know. Worth a try, isn't it? Can't really see them. Um, there was someone down there. Oh, can't we? Yeah, I can't see. Sorry. Not from here. New target acquired. And that's a mauler. I, I'm feeling pretty useless here because I'm not built for this kind of standoff situation. Because we've got to stay here and just, you know. 
help out a bit, I guess. But I can't really tell what I'm trying to do. Can I hit you? Nope. Oh, someone can hit me. What the hell? Oh, geez, that's a shadow cat. And he doesn't like my laser, so he's backing the hell off. <laughs> someone had the same idea as me and was trying to move up. Woo! Incoming. Didn't do very much, though. I think someone else was trying to go up on the other side of the, the hills, and so he shot me first. Oh, jeez. Why the hell is our team... Where the hell is our team gone? Back up, 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 ow, back up, ow, back up, back up, ow! My chant did not help me. I dropped dead. Oh, well. That kind of sucked a bit, but... It was the will of the match. Oh, I see. That's why most of our team abandoned the saddle. We'd lost a couple of points in our base and I didn't even realise. Would it be good to know that, but no. Let's have a look. Dead, 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 dead. We've lost heavier equipment than they have. New target acquired. Yeah, I can't tell where this match is going to go. For them. So... Actually, I can't tell where this is going to go, because that's an enemy push in action. This Ebon Jaguar that I was pairing with is going to get gutted. Yep, I'm already losing rear armor really quickly. Yeah, I, I think this is going to turn into a loss for us, sadly. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's because we split up, that's what did us in a bit. Damage. Yeah, just gave them my thoughts there. So, sadly, that is also going to be it, because that was fairly lengthy, even if I didn't wind up doing much. It's just how these things roll sometimes. Yeah, that Zeus is dead. <laughs> Actually, we're winning now. Hm. Well, well. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. That's um, going to be it for this video because two matches, one good, one pretty bad for me, though the team seems to be pulling it back quite Target nicely. Destroyed. Yep. Actually looks like we're going to win now. There's a um, grasshopper and an assault up here. My final thought on the build really is that um, I do like this little urban mech Sorry, with man. two large Target pulse lasers. It's very nasty. And... It works well so long as I stay aware of my team, which I think is what did me in in that one. I was trying to look for a target to shoot at and forgot to pay attention to my own allies' movements. So that left me horribly exposed and so I got killed while backing off trying to chant for my survival. So <laughs> we know how effective that was. Yeah, we've got this one. But anyway, this has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Both my great contribution and my spectacular failure respectively but yeah as I said that's just how this game goes sometimes oh dear he just randomly died <laughs> that was unfortunate it just a shower sparks and suddenly stopped moving but yeah I'll catch you all some other time artillery strike Another meandering outro for me. That's also one of my signatures, I think. I just can't do a proper outro. <laughs>